In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process in using just a stock footage and a voiceover in creating a simple, faceless YouTube video like this without showing your face in the camera or speaking in the mic. In today's tutorial, that is something simple and I'm going to walk you through just six simple steps which is more easy, you don't need any video editing or skills, you don't need any computer skills or something more than that. So when you look at this particular channel we probably have here, this particular channel really makes simple videos about space which do not show their phrase, they do not speak in the camera, but this particular channel is making or getting a great views every now and then as we can probably see over here. So such a simple video you can also create by using just a stock footage and a voiceover to create such a simple faceless YouTube video like this for your channel. When you look at the last view, they are really getting in the one day ahead that they are getting 17,000 views. In the last three days, they are getting 18,000 views. In the last five days, they are getting 65,000 views. Just the use of a simple stock footage and a voiceover in creating just a simple YouTube video like this, getting a tons of views. So in today's video, I'm going to walk you through all the AIT software needed in creating a simple YouTube video if you stay with me to the end. When you check out this particular channel, Social Blade, according to Social Blade, which could not discover the money they are making every month, but when you look at the money they are making every year, according to Social Blade, this particular channel is making close to 100,000 US dollars every year. And when you look at the views they are getting every now and then, this particular channel is getting 95,000 views each day. So this really tells us that this is a good significance of views, making them a good decent amount of money, which I believe you out there can also duplicate the same thing or also start the same channel like this. So when you look at this particular channel also which is called Animal Insider, they are also doing the same thing without showing their face or speaking in the mic, just using a stock footage and a voiceover in creating just a simple faceless YouTube videos without so showing their face channels, just uses a stock footage of different dog breed in creating just a simple YouTube video and when you check your social blade, this particular channel is making close to 406,000 US dollars every month. So when you look at the money they are making, this particular channel is making close to 40,000 US dollars every year and they are not getting less than 42,000 views every day. So this is really a good significant of amount of views that is really getting the amount of money and when you check the views they are really getting this really tells us that such a faceless YouTube videos can probably make you a good decent amount of money for a living. So in today's video, we are going to use the pet niche as an example or for our tutorial. So I already have a niche which is the pet niche and I already have an article in this particular pet niche. So after we have knowing the niche and you have an article within the niche, the next thing that we need to do is to rewrite this particular article and make it more unique. So after you make this particular more unique using AIT software, the next thing that you need to do is to check the projects and content after making it more unique. And the next thing that you after checking the projectism that you need to do is to start creating your voice over all your voice clip using a test to speed software. And the last thing that we'll be doing after that is to start creating our video using a video creation software. So guys, in this particular article, I'll just scroll down and check and see if it has a little more information that we can talk in our video. And we could probably see that it talks, what it talks in the article is the characteristics, the brain history, the training and care, the health problems, the diet and nutrition and more. So the next thing that after we have discovered our article is to copy this whole article onto our Google Docs or Microsoft Word or Notepad. But I've already copied this particular article onto my Microsoft Word and this is the article we are going to use. So guys, you could probably see I have the intro, I have the origin of the breed, the, the physical attributes and the personality trait of the breed. So now that we have the article copied, the next thing that we need to do is to make this particular article more unique. And how do you do that? So in order to make this particular article more unique, we need to use an AIT software called Quibold. 
So this is the particular uh, uh, AIT software which we are going to use to make this particular article more unique. So in order to do that, just go ahead and copy the intro and go to clipboard and paste in this particular article here. So after you paste in, you go ahead and click on paraphrase. And what it is going to do is that it's going to make it more unique from the original content you took from the internet. So with just a few minutes, we could probably see it has already finished rewriting. So we just go ahead and copy that. Then we go back to this particular Goggy Docs. Then we are going to delete the, uh, the old content we took from the internet, then paste in the new one, which we have already rewrite it. So I'm going to repeat the same thing here and copy this particular one go back to keyboard delete this particular one and paste in this one we then click on power first then we just wait for a few minutes and I can probably see it has already finished rewriting so we just go ahead and copy this one and go back to our Google Docs delete this particular one and we paste in here so we will repeat the same thing for this particular one also guys we just copy that go back to keyboard then we are going to delete this then we paste in this particular one, then click on paraphrase. So we just wait for a simple minute and that is going to rewrite it and make it more unique. So we could probably see in just a few minutes it has done that. Or we copy that, then we go back to our Google Docs and we will just paste this one here. So guys, you could probably see that we have our intro rewrite it, we have the origin rewrite it, and we have the physical attribute rewrite it. I'm not going to do it for this particular one. I just do it for you to have a pre-knowledge or understanding on what to do from each, or from each step. So now that we have a couple of our script being rewrite and make it more unique, the next thing that we need to do is to check if truly this particular article is really genuine and it has no sort of plagiarism in it so in order to do that i'm going to copy any of them so after i copy any of them the next thing that i will do is to go to google and type in this particular ait software which will help us to scan and check if there is no plagiarism called dupri checker so guys, when you go to Google and you type in Dupree Checker, it's going to bring you to an interface like this. So when it comes here, just paste in your article over here or your script over here and kindly scroll down and click on I'm not a robot. So after we are finished clicking I'm not a robot, the next thing that we need to do is to check plagiarism. So we just wait for a few minutes and this Dupree checker is going to scan the whole document guys and check if there is no bit of uh, plagiarism content left in this. So when we see that there is no any plagiarism in our script, then we are confident to use this particular script. So now that we are waiting for it to check the plagiarism content guys, I'll head on to our Google Docs. So guys, we are here in our script. So the next thing that we are going to do as we wait for the Drupal checker to certify that is to start creating our voiceover. So in order for we to start creating our voiceover, we, are, we will head on to Google and type in an AIT software or a text-to-speech software called Wested Lab. So guys, when you type in Wested Lab, this is going to allow you to use your business email to sign in. And when you sign in, it will bring you to an interface like this. So when it comes to an interface like this, this particular software has the paid one and it also has what a free one. So the free version allows us to use this particular uh, software or a test to speed software for seven days, which comes to 50 clips. So now when you look at my right hand side over here, this particular it comes up with what with a with a with a pop-up which indicates the free version, and when you scroll down here, it indicates the paid version. But for the sake of today's tutorial, we are going to use one of the free uh, the free voices among this one, which we are going to use is Alana. So now when I click on that, it still brings us back to the interface. And now that we are going to start creating our voiceover, so we have to go back to our Google Docs, then we will copy the intro and head on to our test to software. So we now come here and paste in, then we click on create.
So as we are waiting for it to create, I'll head on to Dupri Checker and check if it has already finished scanning and checking the plagiarism content in our script. So we could probably see that it has already done that and it's certified that this particular script we just rewrite it using the keyboard is unique and we are good and certified to use that. So now we we'll go back to Wested Lab and check if it has finished generating our voice clip. So we could probably see that it has finished doing that. So the next thing that we do is to go back to our Google Docs, then we are going to copy the number one. Then go back to our Wested Lab, then we paste it over here and click on create. But before we click on create, guys, I need to put a full stop over here and stop this particular down in order not to make the II to read more faster as we could probably like. So the next thing that I would do is to click on create. So as we are waiting in a couple of minutes for it to create our second voice clip, I will just go ahead on our Google Docs and I will copy the third one. Then go back to Wasted Lab. So we can probably see it has already finished creating the second one. So I will go ahead and delete this. Then I will paste in this. Then I'll put a full stop here. Then I'll stop it down. I will go ahead and click on create. So we just wait for a few minutes for it to create our voice clip, guys. So now we can see that it has finished creating our voice clip. So the next thing that we need to do is to combine our clip and make it one. So in order to do so, I will click on this particular one, which is selected. So after I click on selected, the next thing that I will do is to click on combined, which will allows me to combine the whole clip into one. Then I will give it the name called test, then click on create clip. So we just wait for a few minutes, guys. So now that we have have our voice clip being combined into one the next thing that we need to do guy is to export or download this particular voice clip and go back to our video creation software and start creating our video so in order to do that i will click on download which comes in mp3 so now that we have our voice downloaded the next thing that we are going to do is to start creating our video by using a video creation software Guys, we are here in InVideo with uh, video creation software. This is what we are going to use in creating our video. So uh, let me walk you through this particular uh, software. So when you look at this particular one, guys, it comes with a pro version and it's free version. But for the sake of our video today, we are going to use only the free version. But in case you really want to use the paid version or the pro version, which comes in the business for $30 and unlimited, which comes in $60 per month. So probably the reason why you're supposed to use the uh, uh, the paid version is because at the end of creating your video and if you want to export your video guys you still see the watermark of NVIDIA logo in it which is not good to use for your YouTube channel so I have leave a link in the description below so in case you want to use that you can go ahead and sign up and get 25% discount off but for the sake of today guys we are going to use the free version so let's go ahead and to wait so now we are here in the interface of NVIDIA so when you look at my uh, my left hand side it has a pre-made template the middle one talks about text to video and the next one talks about blank canva so guys we are not going to use the pre-made template or the text to video so what we are going to use in creating our video is the blank canvas so i'll just go ahead and click on that and that brings us to this particular place to choose the particular video site we really want to use so we could probably see we have the wider side which is 16 by 19 and you have the square side which is one by one and we have the vertical size which is 9 by 16 but for the sake of our video we are going to use the wider side which is 16 by 19 so after choosing the side the next thing that we will do is to click on make a video so this is going to bring us to the storyboard of this particular video creation software so guys we just need to wait for a little bit as it is taking us to the storyboard in order for we to start creating our video so we are just here guys again in the storyboard so the next thing that we need to do guys is to start importing our voiceover so what we are going to do guys is to click on upload media in order for us to import our voiceover into our timeline so this is the particular voiceover so i'll just click on select so now we could see that we have our you could see that we really have a 
we really have our voiceover imported into our media so the next thing guys we need to do is to start looking for the stock footage of that particular dog breed so in order to do that we need to head on to this particular video so when you click on that guy it is going to give us the access to search for this particular dog breed so in order to do so i will just click on search so i will click enter so it is going to pull out a tons of stock footage about that particular dog breed so now that we are here guys i'm going to import this particular footage into our scene or timeline so i'll go ahead and click on any of them so we just wait for a little bit guys because it's taking a little bit of time so now we could probably see we have our first clip imported into our timeline or scene so what i would do is to really uh, uh reduce this particular video length to what i want so at this point i'm going to leave it at 6.7 seconds then i will click on add and this is going to add into our scene so guys we have our first scene created so the next thing that i will be doing is to stretch this particular one to fit the screen so the next thing that i'm going to do guys is to click on all scene which will give us a good preview of the timeline so you could probably see that we now have a, a clear view of it so the next thing that we are going to do is to import our voiceover into our timeline so in order to do that let's first of all try to import a lot of videos into our timeline then after we go ahead and bring our voiceover so to do that guys let's click on this particular one then we click on black scene so this is going to permit me to add another clip into our video so i'll just go here and double click on this one so now we are going to trim it to the size we really want so i'm going to leave this one probably at 7.7 .7 seconds so I'll just put the play back here. Then I will click again, blank scene. And this is going to give us another scene. So let me add this particular one. So I'm going to trim it or leave it in 7.4 seconds so guys in order for you to trim you can just use this particular arrow to just trim or you can just use this particular one which is trim to fit video or sorry trim video to fit screen so any of them guys is good so i'll go ahead and use this one then after clicking on that i'll click on add and that is going to add onto our timeline so we just stretch it to fit screen so the next thing guys we are going to do is to add two or three more so i'll just click on this one so i will just stretch it a little bit so the next thing that i'll do is to import another video So I'm going to leave this scene at 7.8 seconds. So I'll just click on trim video to fit screen. Then I'll click on add. So I will just trim this one to fit the screen. Good. So that is it. So the next thing that we are going to do, guys, is to import our voiceover. So how do you do that? We just head on to upload. Then we click on this particular three dots then we will add it to our voiceover so i'm now going to push the playback head here and i'm going to push the voiceover down here to match our our timeline video so now we could probably see that we have our video we have our timeline imported the next thing that we are going to do guys is to import a background music so you can probably get your background music from 
uh, Pixabel or YouTube library but for the sake of today's tutorial I'm going to pick my own from this particular one because this particular creation software has a built-in music so I'll just go ahead and click on music and it's going to give me a ton of music to choose from so I'm going to choose this particular one so the next thing that I will do is to go ahead and double click the first one that is going to add this particular background music to our video so in few minutes guys you could probably see it has already added the next thing that i'm going to do is to reduce the volume so i'll just click on edit then i'll go to volume so i will just bring this particular one to 50 percent of the volume okay probably 28 that seems very good so now let's go ahead and play our video So guys you could probably see we have already added the background music and the voiceover and our clothes so the next thing that we can probably do guys you could see in between the two videos we have a white square over here with a horizontal red line so the next thing that we need to do is to add a transition in between these videos and how do you do that we have to go ahead and click on the white one which will brings a pop-up like this and it has a tons of transition you can choose from so the next thing that we are going to do is to choose this particular one then we do the same thing to this particular one also good so now we have already added a transition guys let's just play back and see how it looks like So this is how guys it really looks like so the next thing that we need to do when you check in between this particular scene guys you can see it has a text in it i you can also add a text to your video but for the sake of today's video i really don't need this particular text across all the video so the next thing that we need to do is to go ahead and delete that so now that we have already deleted the test, you can probably check the rest of the scene. If you have a test in it, you can also delete that. So now you could probably see we have a logo here. Guys, what you can do is we probably have a logo of your channel. You can really add onto your video by double clicking on that so now the next thing that we need to do guys is to learn how to add a test to this particular video. So the next thing that we are going to do, I will go ahead and delete this particular test in between, which I don't really like it. So now that we have the test deleted, now when you look at our script, guys, the number one text about the origin of Pomeranian. So we need to add that particular test into our video, the, the, assuming that that is the exact point the uh, the voiceover starts talks about the origin of the Pomeranian. so in order to do that we head on to test guys then we are going to add a test to our video so then particular test that we are going to use is this one but you can scroll down and choose a tons of them but in this particular video we are going to still use this one so just double click on that and that is going to be uh, important into your video so now we have our test added to our scene so you could probably see here on my right hand side it added to uh, text to that so I will go ahead and delete one so we now have only one test added into our video so the next thing that I will do is to double click it that will give me access to play around this one so I'm going to delete this particular test within that so the next thing I will do is to type in Pomeranian origin So now we have the first test into our video which the first part or the first body of it talks about the origin so guys the next thing that we need to do is to just play around this particular one i'm going to push it at this particular point depending on the font size you can choose whether caps or you can choose uh, a smaller letter but i'm going to leave it like this just for you to have a fair idea so i'm going to play around this particular one by adding a background 
to wait so in order to do that we will just click here and just play around with the opacity which is going to add a probably a background to it and make it look more nicer so guys you could probably see it has already added a background to the text which looks more nicer as we could probably like you can also choose a different color from this particular portion if you really want to change that that depends on you but now you see how it really looks like so the next thing that i would do is to send the play back here and let's play our video and see how it looks like yeah so this is how it looks like when you add a text uh, trying to uh, let your viewers to know the points you are talking from each video then this is how you can probably do it so the next thing that i'm going to show you guys in case you don't want to use a video the next thing that you can probably use is to use a picture stock footage so i will just go ahead and click on blank scene so i will just go ahead to images so what i'm going to do here is to break in an image footage of that pomeranian dog and we can add it to our video so i will just go here and click on this one and that is going to give an access to that so i will just go to the search image then i'm going to type in pomeranian so guys we have already here so i'll go ahead and click enter so now we could see it has bring a tons of that and the reason why you are seeing this i stock because it is a paid version or a premium version so if you want to use this particular one you need to subscribe to the paid version in order for you to enjoy this so i'll just go ahead and pick any one of these particular pictures and add it onto our screen so i'll just go ahead and pick this particular one So guys when you look at on my right hand side it seems it has added three uh, images so i'll just go ahead and delete two of them and leave only one so i'll go ahead and delete that good so now we have our image imported into our scene so the next thing that i will do guys is to just to play around with this and stretch it to fit the screen or you can leave it like that so now you could probably see that i've already straight to fit the screen so we are still going to play around with this i'm going to delete the test inside so the next thing that i will do is to double click it and that will give me access to remove the background also adjust the color and also to crop that but you can just play around with this feature if you really like but what i like to do is to add animation to this particular picture not to look so static as it is you can see so i'll just go here in types then i'm going to choose fade in then i'm going to push the duration to two seconds or even more so in in place i'm going to choose zoom and out then i'm going to choose out fade to right so i'm going to bring it to somehow two seconds so now let's push back our head here and now let's play and see how it looks like So guys, this is how you can play with the picture by adding motions to it, which make it looks more appealing. So you could see that it is fading in or out and later it fades out to the next video. So that is all that we can talk about today's video. So the next thing that I'm going to tell you guys is to learn how to add a subtitles to your video and that is going to make it more unique and going to make it more nice. So guys, if you really learn something in today's video, try to leave me a comment comment and try to like or share this particular video and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if there is something more i'm going to reply to you in the comment section so now that we are done creating our video we will just hit onto the export and we are going to export our video and then upload it into youtube so now like i said when it comes to the export this is going to allow we to upload or uh, to export the low quality version but if we really want to upload 1080 which then we need to upgrade to the higher version because it contains a premium stock footage and i stock footage which does not allow we to use 80 1080 but it only allow us to use 720 which is in a low quality 
and that is what i don't really advise you to do and it still comes with what the watermark of nvidia so just go ahead and click on export and now you are good to go so that is end of today's video see you in my next video thank you for watching